Good morning everybody. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. We are now on part 2, lesson 8, exponents. In this lesson, we'll be dealing with multiplication and division of exponential expressions. So in multiplying exponential expressions, all we have to do is make sure that they have the, uh, their, the same basis. Even though they have different exponents, you can multiply those. Unlike in uh, addition and subtraction of exponential expressions, you you have to have both bases the same and both exponents the same. But unlike here in multiplication of exponential expressions, you can multiply as long as the base are the same, even though the exponents are different. So in these uh, two examples that we have right here, first one is 2 squared times 2 cubed. So that this means they have the same base, 2, but their exponents are different. This one is 2 and this exponent 3. So in multiplying exponential expressions, all you have to do is copy the base. So the base is 2 and the exponent, add the exponent. So that is like 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer is that to, or you're multiplying the base by itself 5 times. That's what, what it means by 2 to the 5th power. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2 is 32. So that's the answer on that one right there. How about in the second one? Now, if we investigate, we have the same base. We have different exponent again. So what we do is copy the base and then add the exponents. So when, since we have two, a negative five right here, it's like you're, you're adding sign numbers. If you remember that, the laws of, uh, of evaluating or simplifying sign numbers, right? So that is, uh, that's two minus five. That's what it is. That's, that's what you mean by that. So this is equals to three times. Since the sign is negative here, you see like you're adding, you're adding the same thing actually as plus negative five. That's what, that's what, it, that's what I mean. So you you add the exponents. So copy the base and you add that two plus negative five. What's the, what's, what's the answer? It's uh, negative three, right? So we simplify that further is equal to, that means three raised to the negative third power. And whenever we have this negative uh, exponent, what, the, what does it mean by negative exponent? Is uh, the inverse of this. Whenever you encounter in, uh, negative exponent is expressed as the inverse of the, uh, the base. So inverse, the 3, inverse of 3, or the uh, reciprocal 3 is 1 third, right? And just copy, get the inverse or reciprocal, and then copy the exponent. So that's 3. But then the negative 3 over here now becomes positive. Positive 3. And now we simplify it further. That is equal to 1 over, so 3 times 3 times 3, right? 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 1 over 3 times 3, 9 times 3 is 27. That's the answer for that. Now we have the third example. It's uh, 2 raised to 15th power multiplied by 2 times raised to the negative 15th power. So once again, we have to do is copy the base and then add the exponent, right? So add the exponent. So 15 plus negative 15 that's sign numbers again right so that's 2 so po positive 15 plus negative 15 that's what comes up to 0 right now if you remember on the on, in part 1 lesson 8 part 1 an exponent we uh, mentioned anything all mentioned uh, about a 0 power what does mean by 0 power anything raised to 0 equals 1 right so 2 to the 0 power, the answer is 1. Now we have another example over here. So 3 times uh, the square of 2 times 2 times uh, 2 to the 4th power times 2 times the quantity 2 times negative 3 third power. 
So since this involves coefficients, what we have to do is multiply the coefficient first, right? These are the coefficients right here. And okay, so three times two times two. So that's four times three is twelve, right? So that's twelve. And then copy the base. What's the base? Two, two, right? And now what we have to do is add the uh, the power or the exponents. Two, four, negative three. So that's we just put it up right here. So two plus four plus negative three. So right here we're adding we're adding uh, integers again, sign numbers, right? If you remember. So the answer to that is equal to so, so 12 times the base 2 all we have to do is simplify this one right here right or evaluate 2 plus 4 6 minus 3 is 3 right 6 minus 3 is 3 so that's 3 right there now simplify further what will come up to so 12 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So 12 times 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 1 is 96, right? So that's how to evaluate it. Now we have another example over here. It's a 2x squared y squared times 3x cubed y negative 3. Exponent negative 3. So in multiplying exponential expressions again all you have to consider is you have the same base right what are the base here are x y x y you have the same base even though they, they have different exponent all right first thing first is multiply the coefficients right these are the coefficients three times two is six and then copy the bases and x squared here x cubed so that that means you have to add the you have to add the exponent right add those so x is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5 so x to the fifth power and then consider y copy y and their exponents 2 and negative 3 so that's 2 minus 3 so that's negative 1 right so that's the answer and yet you can still simplify that one right there right so six x to the fifth power or y to the negative one what does it mean by negative exponent so that's the reciprocal right so six x to the fifth power and the reciprocal of y is one over y so that will be so y, right? Since uh, we we go back, let's make it clear. So to find that, whenever you get negative exponent, that means you find the reciprocal of that of the base. That is reciprocal of y is one over y, right? And then just copy the uh, exponent, and now change the negative it will turn to positive exponent positive exponent so so negative uh, one exponent y that means uh, get the res so reciprocal of that one right there is one over y and copy the exponent one and then the negative will be changed to positive so that's how it is so that will come up to six x to the fifth power divided by y so that's the answer for that okay we have another example on the last example in multiplying exponential expressions we have this one 5xy squared times 2ab squared can we multiply this of course we can we can multiply right of course we do even though what we have to do is if you notice base here x y is y squared and the base here is a and b there's no way we can multiply that, right? All we have to do is uh, multiply the coefficients. Just multiply the coefficients and just copy the whole thing. 
right? It's because in multiplying exponential expressions, you have to have the same base. If you have different base, all you have to do is copy them, right? So, and multiply the coefficients. 5 times 2 is 10. X, Y squared. A, B squared. So that's the answer. So all you have to do is copy it, all right? So we are now on dividing exponential expressions. So in dividing exponential expressions, all we have to do is make sure the base are, are, are the same. So all you have to do is the base are the same. And what you do with the exponent, all you have to do is subtract exponents. Now we have two examples over here. 2 to the 3rd power divided by 2 to the 2nd power. And the second one is 5 squared or 5 to the 2nd power divided by 5 to the 5th power. Alright, and the first one. So in dividing exponential expressions, all you have to do is, it's again, copy the, uh, the base. Make sure the base are the same. And next, next uh, thing to do is subtract the exponent. Right? So let's do it. So copy the base, make sure the base are, are the same, that's 2. And then subtract the exponent. So 3 minus 2 is 1, right? That's 3 minus, minus 2. So that's 2 to the first power, or anything raised to the power, first power is just the same as the number itself. Okay, in the second example right here, 5 squared divided by 5 to the fifth power. So all we have to do is copy the base. The base are the same. So 5 then subtract the exponent, right? So that's the exponent is 2 minus 5. So what is that? So 5 times negative 3. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, right? Whenever you see that, that negative 3 exponent, again, you know what to do, right? So that's the reciprocal. Reciprocal of 5 or the inverse of 5 is 1 over 5. And copy the exponent. 3 and then the negative exponent becomes positive 3 so that's the answer or evaluate it further 1 divided by 5 times 5 times 5 3 times right 3 times so 5 times 5 25 times 5 is 125 so that's the answer for that now we have two other examples again over here so x squared divided by x to the negative 4 the other one, 2x squared y divided by negative 3x cubed y to the negative 2. So, and here, you have the same base, right? And the exponents are the same, I mean different, right? 2 and negative 4. So, all you have to do is, uh, in uh, the rule dividing exponential expressions, all you have to do is copy the base. You have the same base and subtract the exponent right so that is 2 here minus negative 4 as exponent so what's the answer x 2 times negative 2 minus negative that becomes positive right it's like you're adding it to 6 right 2 minus negative 4 negative you're dealing with both negatives next to each other that will become positive it's six right the other way to solve this problem is x squared right here copy that one x squared and then negative negative exponent is the reciprocal of that right so the reciprocal of that is uh, x to the negative four is is that's considered actually one the reciprocal of that is 1 over x, that will become x, x over 1 times 4, right? Since from negative there, it will become positive. You go out that one right there, that become positive. So that is uh, that's the same as you copy the base and add the exponent. That's the same way, that's 6. So that's the same thing as that one right there. Right? Well, how about on here? 2x squared y divided by negative 3x cubed y to the negative 2. So once again, we have the same basis right here. x and y. x and y the same Also thing. have coefficients. 
and uh, the, the, the sign of the, the numerator, I mean the denominator is negative. So what we have to do is get the, uh, the coefficient first, right? So since negative here, you just put down negative two thirds, that's the coefficient. And what we have here is x and y, right? So we, let's write it this way. So x is uh, subtract the, uh, that's the base, and subtract the uh, exponent. So 2, exponent 2 minus 3. And y here is, y is the same as y is to, y, uh, to, uh, to the first power. So that's the same as 1 minus negative 2, right? So what comes to, what's our answer? It's negative, uh, write it down again, 2 thirds. So x, 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. And y, 1 minus minus 2, that becomes plus, right? That's, that means you're adding uh, minus minus becomes plus, so that's 3, okay? Since you have here, copy that one again, negative uh, exponent right there. That denotes the inverse of that, so the inverse of or the reciprocal of x, right, and become a positive if you do that. So ne negative two thirds, so that is two y cube all over three x. Since uh, we get get the uh, x to the negative one, that's the. Uh, x to the negative 1 is the same as the reciprocal 1 over x to the 1. So that why, that's why x went down to the denominator. So x to negative 1 is the inverse of that to make it positive exponent. We do the inverse and change the sign of the positive, the negative to positive. So that now it come out. That will turn out to be the denominator of this expression. That's why we got x on the below the division bar. So that's the answer right here. 2y cubed divided by 3x. That's negative. So we have another example on the board. 4x a b squared divided by x squared y z. So simplifying this, we have the coefficient of 4. And since we... Uh, we subtract the, uh, the exponent of x, so x, 1, 1 here minus 2, so that becomes, uh, just cancel that out, so the exponent x to the 1, that will be, that will remain as denominator, so a and b, there's no a and b in the denominator, so just copy that one right there, so a, b squared, and on the bottom, so yeah, what you have left is x, and y and z. So that's the answer. So if you notice, I just go directly uh, canceling canceling the x right here, x squared and x right there. Uh, what comes out the left is x to the first power. So I don't need to transpose it or anything. I just leave it uh, down under on the denominator. So in summary of this part two, lesson eight exponent, when multiplying exponential expressions, make sure that their bases are the same, even though their exponents are different, like this one, 2, negative 5. And then the process of doing this is if they, if they come with exponents, I mean, if they come with coefficients, all you have to do is multiply the coefficients and then write down the base like that and then add the exponents. So add the exponents, right? So like this one right here, two, two plus three becomes five. All right. And in dividing exponential expressions, all we have to do is make sure that we have the same base, even though their uh, their exponents are different. All you have to do is copy the base like this, two and two, two divided by, two, um, and then subtract the exponents, three minus two. All right, the same thing over here. All right, whenever you arrive at a negative exponent, uh, that means the exponent means uh, you need to get the, uh, the reciprocal, like right? this one, negative one, 
you get the reciprocal of that one, 1 over x, and then change the sign from negative to positive. So that will turn out to be the reciprocal of that and change the negative sign to positive sign. And whenever you encounter all those bases, make sure dividing exponential expressions. All you have to consider is make sure their base are the same. And considering if their bases are not the same, all you have to do is just copy the bases and just leave it there. Whenever it is, uh, you have that uh, numerator, the other one denominator, you're the, like this one, A and B, you don't have A and B on the denominator. All you have to do is copy that A and B to so your answer. The same way on the denominator, you have y and z, but you don't have any numerator. All you have to do is just copy that out to the answer. All right, that's all. All right. So that ends our lecture, uh, lesson 8, part 2, exponent. And next lesson will be le part 3, lesson 8, exponents. We'll be, we'll be doing uh, exponents to call power, raising to a power, and negative exponents. And we'll be solving word problems. So that's all for the day, uh, folks, and thank you for following my lecture or video. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and, and share. So you can help other people also who would like to learn these th techniques in uh, uh, exponential expressions, multipl multiplication, and division. And you guys have a great day. Rami Salamat po. I will see you in part 3, lesson 8 on exponent. Thanks for watching. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.